While cross docking is a very simple concept, it can be surprisingly difficult to execute successfully. Without effective communication and tight management of the cross dock location, will easily fall over and leaving customers waiting on delayed deliveries. The following six tips will help you to organize people, processes, and facilities to prevent subpar cross-stock efficiency from hampering your logistics operation. First one, use conveyors if you can. Gravity rollers can greatly reduce the need to handle goods. They should be used if possible to move pallets, or cartons between unloading and loading doors in your cross-stock facility. Second, keep on top of housekeeping. Your teams can't maintain maximum cross-dock efficiency, keeping the dock area clean and tidy will maximize safety as well. Third, don't use more dock space than necessary. The larger your cross-dock space, the more travel time will be expended getting goods from the inbound to outbound trucks or trailers. Fourth, choose a location with plenty of yard space. Cross-docking generally requires some staging of inbound and outbound trailers, so yard space must be adequate to hold the maximum amount of trailers you might expect to queue up. Fifth, organize the shipment staging area. The ideal cross-dock configuration has the goods in and goods outdoors on the same dock, with goods indoors at the center. Sixth, make use of technology, ideally you will want your cross-stocking operation under the control of a WMS or TMS solution. You will also want to be sure your staff can receive advanced alerts, of inbound goods via shipment notifications, from suppliers. If you put a good team in place and follow the six tips in this guide, you should have all you need for a cross-stock operation that truly benefits your supply chain streamlining and speed. So that's your six tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Logistics Bureau and have a good day.